much again, Aunt Yolanda, for letting us stay here for the reunion. I can't believe all the hotels were booked up. Oh, you know I'm happy to have you, babies, but that ought to teach y'all booking a hotel at the last minute. Y'all got lucky on that flight. Hmm. Lucky? We flew spirit. The lucky part is that we're still alive. <laughs> Stop it, Cameron. Trey, say hi to your cousins, baby. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Trey. How you been? I've been good, just working, trying to save to move out. Mm -hmm. You know there ain't no rush on that. You can stay for as long as you like. What kind of mother would I be if I put my one and only son out in the street? It's not about that, Ma. I just need my own space, you know. Yeah, I know. Grown ass man needs your own space, privacy, yada, yada, yada. Hey, Trey. Hey, Cameron. Okay, well. Me and Jess gonna have to run back out to the store and get some last minute groceries for this family reunion. Why you didn't get it when y'all was out? Well, where would I put it with two bodies and a trunk full of luggage, Mr. Smart Mouth? <laughs> mm -hmm. Y'all want anything? Uh, no, I'm good. Well, I'll take a bag of onions and a Sprite. Mm, okay, so one bottle of acid and a bag of stank breath coming up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all catch up. We'll be right back. Good to see you, Trey. Good to see you, too. What movie are you watching? Just some random movie on Netflix. Oh, cool, cool. What's the name of it? Maybe I've seen it. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to it. Okay. Wow. Nice view you guys got here. Thanks. Is this really what we're gonna do, Trey? What do you mean? I mean, continue this small talk like two niggas who just met up a day nap. Cameron, just don't, man. I'm just trying to move forward. Yeah, I can see that by the way you're treating me. I'm not treating you like anything. I'm on my phone, minding my business, waiting for my mom to come back with the groceries. She just left, Trey. Why don't you just admit that you're upset with me? Upset about what? Being forced to face your truth can make anyone upset. My truth? What truth? I've never hid the fact that I'm gay, so that's you what you- know that's not the truth that I'm talking about? <laughs> Society and their definition of morals can really have a strong effect on one's psyche. What we're taught is wrong or right, good or evil, it sticks with us for our entire lives because we're conditioned so strongly during our formative years when our minds are pretty much just wet clay, waiting to be molded into whatever our parents, teachers, pastors, and government officials want us to be. There's certain lines that we're taught should be crossed. Problem is, the older you get, you begin to realize that those lines are drawn with chalk. One splash of water, and they begin to blur, and eventually just wash away. <laughs> it's a lot like that video with the guy drawing the circle around the crawling ant, and the ant is wandering back and forth, not realizing that the line is not the prison that he thinks it is, and the only prison is in his mind. What does this have to do with anything. Since you was a kid? Yeah. Hmm. Talk about a glow up. What did you think of me when we met? 
first impression? I'm not about to do this with you, man. It's a pretty simple question, Trey. I don't know. That was like two years ago. Two years really is not that long ago. The human mind can access memories as early as three years old. So remembering what you thought of me two years ago should be no problem. I thought you were short and annoying as hell. Same things I think of you now. Valiant attempt at a comedic comeback. But those are two very surface level details. Dig deeper. Because we both know the answer. You thought the same thing I thought about you? Who is this fine ass nigga being introduced as my cousin? Cameron. You wanted me just as badly as I wanted you. Come on, man. Because otherwise, what happened would have never happened. Why are you bringing this up? This is sick. We're cousins, family, Cameron. Don't you understand what that means? What we did is incest. Ah, oh, there it is. There's that word I've been waiting to hear you toss from your arsenal. It's not just a word. Oh, but it is. You see, we were what, 23, 24 when we first met? And the first time we introduced each other, we introduced as cousins. It's great. Except it doesn't stop the natural reaction that our minds and our bodies had upon seeing each other for the first time. We were attracted to each other. We couldn't help that. We are cousins. Yes, I know. Your mother is my aunt's husband's sister. Haven't you heard of kissing cousins? No matter how you try to spin this, we're family and we committed incest when we slept together. I don't get why you're trying to rationalize this. Oh no, my friend. It's you who's trying to rationalize your thoughts. My thoughts are based purely in logic. And the logic is, had we met each other in our early 20s under different circumstances, there would be no problem. The shit you and I would probably be dating by now. But instead, we were told that we're related and expected to immediately follow suit. And that is if we grew up watching cartoons and playing in the sandbox together. We, we're strangers. So just because somebody told me I have to treat you like family, doesn't mean I have to. Shit, I don't even treat my own father as family. So why should someone I met two years ago be any different? You can stick to all your moral teachings and your laws of attraction all you want to. But me, I'm a free thinker. I have my own mind and I make my own rules. Don't tell me you're about to start defending molestation and pedophilia now. Why do small-minded people always like to go there? Of course not, Trey. This is not the same thing. We are two consenting adults who willingly had sex with one another. So don't you dare compare my attraction to a man I just met two years ago to that of familial molestation or pedophilia. Because my psyche is far too advanced for you to perform that type of mindfuck on me. Cameron, I'm not trying to demonize you. I just want to live a normal life while I'm not fucking my cousin, distant or not. Normal, huh? Our society loves that word, don't they? Normal. I wish I can go back to the time they invented the word normal. Like, who is normal? What is normal? Where is normal? Why is normal? When they invent that time machine, that would make a fascinating field trip. Look, no matter how many partially good points you make about the laws of attraction or how long we've known each other, we can't do this. Now, isn't that interesting wording? We can't do this implying that something is currently in progress. Don't twist my words. You know what I meant. I don't even think you know what you meant. But what I do know is that you've been trying your best to hold your composure ever since I walked through the door. But the lid was popped the moment I brought up our last reunion. Your mind began to wander and your blood began to flow. 
Don't think I didn't notice your little friend waking up. Then again, I am the one who set off the alarm clock. Well, I'm going to hit snooze. Hit it. I will. What are you waiting for? Back up, camera. <laughs> your legs were just fine. If you really wanted me to move, you can easily remove yourself. So, now you're telling me what I want? No. I'm just responding to what your body's saying to me. Hello? Hey, Trey. I got halfway to the market. Realized I forgot my purse. Bring it on down for me, baby. Yeah, I got you. I'll be there. I gotta go take my mom her purse. Then I think I'm going for a walk. Really? Really? Okay. Go right ahead. But remember, sooner or later, you will have to face your feelings. You will have to face me. You can lie to yourself. You can block me on social media. Hell, you can ignore my calls for two years. But the truth still lies beneath the surface. You can't run from that forever. Black and short as hell try. 